Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. This is the 8-bit debate. We haven't done one of these for quite a long time because it's been such a great season that Spurs haven't really annoyed us enough for us to have things to disagree on. However, we have found a topic. Finally. <laughs> this debate will be, be between Emma and Craig. I should say at this point, Reese was due to judge this debate, but at the <laughs> last minute, Craig Mitch put in a request that he was outed I don't mean like that. I mean <laughs> ousted as the judge in favor of me because he was worried that uh, Reese would be on Emma's side. So this is very controversial. Anyway. This is massively controversial. I'm, I'm, I don't like this. Suggestion. Oh, hold on. There's no time now. There's no time for any of this. We're going into the debate. The debate is this. <laughs> the debate is this. Should Jan Vertonghen walk back, straight back into the team or does big Kevin Vimmer deserve to keep his place? So it's super Jan versus big Kev. Now, Fighting on behalf of Super Jan Vertonghen is Craig Mitch. <laughs> Fighting on behalf of Big Kev is Emma Story. In case you haven't seen this format before, basically I will be giving out points for salient facts, good opinion, good reasons, and they have to get to eight points. The first to eight points is the winner. I'm going to start because she's unhappy with what's happened with the judging <laughs> with Emma's story. Emma, go for it. Okay, fine. So here is my first point. Mm -hmm. and he's already eyeballing me. Can you see this eyeballing that's going on? Uh, aggression it's will outrageous. not get you an extra point. It's outrageous. It on with your point. So on with my point. The first one is about rotation. Now the thing is, is that everybody knows that good defensive performances are based on a consistent centre-back partnership. Um, we were very lucky in the first half of the season. We had Toby and we had Jan, and they were amazing. This is not a debate about me saying Jan's no good. It's not that. My point is, we've got Liverpool coming up at the weekend, which we think Jan's going to be in contention for. Big game, away from home, need a win, need a good defensive performance. You need consistency. Everyone knows we rotate our fullbacks all the time, which makes the, the consistency in the centre-back partnership even more crucial. And for me, at the moment, with the way that Vimmer has been playing since he came in for Jan, I think him and Toby have developed a good understanding. I don't think this is the time to change it. Okay, I think that's worth a point. I think consistency is a good point. Craig, what so was it? What was that about? Consistency or rotation? What, what, I'm, I'm confused. What, 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 uh, for me, what, what, what was the key thing behind that? For because me, rotation at this stage in the season, when you're in one competition, means absolutely nothing. She's but suggesting no rotation. She's no suggesting rotation. the consistency of selection because Kev has played for three months. So then it wouldn't be rotation because then he would have to come back in. I rotate is when you go no rotation. Okay, rotation so what I'm going to say to that is. Form is temporary, class is permanent. Jan Vertonghen will not skip a beat. He's been playing for Spurs since 2012. The man knows Spurs very, very well. And more importantly, he knows Toby Alderweireld very well. I mean, they play together at Ajax. They play together in the Belgium national team. These are two guys that are completely in sync. They're friends. They roll together on the training ground. There is a bromance there, which I've been saying on Spurred On. If you guys have been following Spurred On for the whole season, you know about the Belgian bromance. Mm -hmm. It's been a key phrase. It hasn't been the flipping Austrian slash Belgian bromance, has it? No, it hasn't. Well, it's okay. Hold on, oh, hold on. Oh. I am the, I'm the ringleader here. Watch out for this. Firstly, I'm going to give him a point for the fact that there is a level of uh, understanding amongst them and that the I relationship. agree. A relationship. I think Super Yam will come back. I'm also going to give him another point because he's just brought up their bromance and I love that. It's well, two, two points for Craig there. Emma, well, your, your turn. It's right funny you should mention bromance mm. and when you talk about friendships and understanding. Mm. When it comes to, we, you know, we've been loving all season our boys out on social media, whether they've been going out for dinner, when they went to Barcelona, before and after matches, all that sort of thing. Do you know who's always involved? Do you know who's always got the banter going? Do you know who's always the guy son, who's behind the son, camera? Yeah, son. No, no, yeah, no, no, I've no. See, son. Big Kev. Oh, son, all son. of a sudden it's he Kev. Gets, I thought gets, it was Son. He gets another point for that. That was funny. And what? Son is. You get a point for the fact that uh, Toby's good with the bonding. and the, uh, Toby. Sorry, Toby. Toby. I mean, Kev, uh, Kev is Tob good with Toby. Hang on a minute. You see the biasness of this judges. He wants to give it to Craig. There's no biasness. We have to get to Oh points. He said something that was really funny. So you get your point for the fact that he's good on social media. I will also now continue your points if you get more points for the things you say. But he did say something funny. So, so if I'm this was based on social media, the Deli Ali would have like 50 points. This is well, not about social media. It's about who can start. This is football. All right. Right, Emma, carry on. Uh, the second point I was going to make was I totally, I do understand and take your point about class being permanent. Absolutely. It doesn't change the fact that Jan has been out since January. He's been out for the best part of three months. It doesn't matter who you are. You can yeah. be bloody Pele, and you can't just walk back in and magically be okay. Yeah, I think it's a good point. Pele it, could, it is by a way, bit of a, yeah. It's a bit of a risk 
It's a bit of a risk to put him straight in on such a big game. However, what I would say is if you put Pele in at centre back for Spurs, that probably wouldn't go so well. <laughs> uh, currently three points each. Three points each. Craig Mitch, what's up next? Barnaby, would you say this is a big game? I, as I just alluded to, I think it's a huge game. <laughs> Do you agree that in big games you play your best players? Do you agree in big games you play your best players? I do, but I think there are some caveats, but carry on. All right, so think? I'm a firm believer in if you've got your best players available, you trust your best players and you play your best players. Mm -hmm. Now, there is no doubt in this room, in this country, in this world, in this universe, that Jan Vertonghen is a better centre-half than Kevin Vimmer. By natural talent, by experience, and he is without a doubt the first choice in Pochettino's mind. That is a fact. So in my opinion, you play your best players. This is a big game. We need to play Yan. They are in sync, they know each other. That is my opinion. I'm gonna let Emma just counter that because I'm not sure yet whether, I mean, the, ex the one thing you said that was right was experience, but Big Kev, to me, hasn't really made a mistake. So let, let me Kev. just see what let me see what Emma has to say before I think about a point. Big Kev, we talk about mm -hmm. quality, we talk about skill level. We talk about experience. I agree. Of course, Jan's going to be more experienced. He's five years older than Vimmer. Kev can't really do much about that. Of course. What I would say is in the eight league games since Kev came in for Jan, do you know how many goals we've conceded? How many? Four. Four. Nine. In eight league games. And we've had some big league games in that time. Yeah, sit your way. And you feel like Jan, who might not be, I mean, he may be fit, but he, he's not going to be 100% match fit because he's not play, he's not kicked a ball in anger for the best part of three months. I mean, he never kicks a ball in anger. Well, he's so he, laid back. He's so chill, but you know yeah. what I mean. I'm going to give you both a point. I think Craig had a point with the experience, and I think you've got a point there because it's been a good record as well. And I'm going to let you continue with some more points. Don't forget, it doesn't all have to be necessary. I mean, you've already brought up the bonding and stuff. Feel free to go a bit left field, throw some out there. We've got to get to eight points. We might be here all night otherwise. Well, uh, so. I'm going to throw a left field one in here and Craig Good. already knows this is coming because uh, we discussed it before. But uh, And it is a point for me. Craig's face looks like he's going to kill her. <laughs> going on. It's it's Are you saying a point or am I saying a point? Kevin, Kevin no, no, Vimmer. Emma's coming back in now. It's four, okay. all. four points Vimmer? all. Same birthday as a certain Craig Mitch. 15th of November. So is he trying to say that people Olympic. born yeah, that, no, on that's, his that's day... That's too left field. That's, that's too left field. Where did you even get that from? Craig Mitch... Uh, you Craig, actually. That is stupid. <laughs> Craig Mitch gets a point for the about. fact that he didn't say that because I feel he must he have taken it. Don't know what not you're talking on camera. About. Not on camera. <gasps> I didn't say it. I don't know what she's Five talking about. I want Reese back in the judging. Of course you do. Oh, you want Reese. 5-4 to Craig Mitch. My birthday. Really? Oh, we're both Scorpions. That means he should play... Whatever. Anyway. Point for Emma because it's not Scorpion, it's Scorpio. Yes! I there said Scorpio! No, what you are you said talking you're about? Scorpions. No, I never said that! That's what you said. Well, um, I could be a scorpion because I've got I've a lot of sting. Another, anyway, let's, let's, let's. It's five points each, Craig Mitchell. And I'm ready to sting you. Let's, so we're going back to experience. So, this man, Super Jan, as they like to call him, has 74 caps for his country, for Belgium, and has scored six goals in the process. Not only that, he made 155 appearances for Ajax and scored 23 goals. Now, I'm not just talking about the appearances or the caps, because, you know, there's a lot of them. I'm talking about the fact that he's got goals in him. How many goals has Kevin Vimmer scored for us? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. In a big game against Liverpool, who could come up from a set piece and maybe head a one in? Who's got that in their locker? Who likes to drive with the ball forward and offer an attacking threat even though he's a centre-half? Okay, okay, okay. Kevin Vimmer doesn't possess that. Okay, hold on. We need goals from everywhere on, at this stage on, of the season. Hold on, Okay, Craig, I'm going to... Emma, do you want to counter that point? Well, I was just going to counter that point. I take what you're saying, but I don't really feel like Jan has done that much this season in terms of driving forward. That's what I was going to... Th it exactly doesn't matter. It's thinking. in his locker. No, 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 no. no. Uh, Wait, are we going to well, so deny the fact that goals are not in so Super Jan's locker? Hold on, so hold on. He ran through at Old Trafford and scored with his left yeah, foot and destroyed three players two years ago. What I'm saying is... What is your point? It's in his hold locker. On, hold on, calm, calm. Go I'm on. giving a point to Emma because she counted it in exactly the way that I was thinking, which is, yes, Jan has scored goals to Spurs, but not for about 18 months. And Kev, oh, so Vimmer's, Kev Vimmer's only had about eight or nine games, so I'm going to give a point now. It's six points to five. Emma in the lead, and Emma, it's your point now. This is a joke. <laughs> This is an absolute <laughs> joke. I've just given you a point saying that he could score goals and you've given her the point because then he yeah. hasn't scored this season. Okay, okay. You, okay. you tell us at home what? in the, no! you tell us in the right, comments box. Do you, think, do you think that's right? Because I think Jan, basically, because uh, Toby is going up for far more set pieces instead of Jan now, I don't think Jan is quite as much of a threat. But there you go. Emma, you're, you're, you're well, No, that's exactly my point. And I think I'll go slightly left field again. It's not necessarily about form, but what we do love about Vimmer mm. is he demonstrates his love for Spurs massively and I know oh part of this God, might this be down to, do to yeah, hey 
We said left go, field. Go on, go on. We said left field. I did, I did say left field. When Kevin Vim signed for Tottenham, yeah. he got so overexcited that he changed all his Twitter banner he and everything. Do that. He that was, was cool. absolutely loving it. Is it still his Twitter banner now? It. Where is it gone? He was so gone. Where is that banner gone? To be honest, he's taking it down. There's one thing Craig knows about it's Twitter banners. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, this uh, is very keep, true. Keep it casual, guys. He's taking uh, the banner down. Uh, I think that's right. Seven points to Emma. Craig, you've, you are two points down. You've got to fight hard here because it's right. one point to win for Emma here with Kevin Vimmer. All right, so. Super Yan yeah. is versatile. This man can not only play at centre half, he can play at left back. Mm -hmm. He has that in his locker. Mm -hmm. If there's, say, like an injury in the last 10 minutes and we've made all our substitutions and Danny Rose has gone out, mm -hmm. we can move Super Yan to left back and he'll do a job. Can Kevin Vimma do that? Of course he can't. He's only been proven at a few games for us. What is it, eight or so games mm -hmm. for us at, at centre half? Is he capable of doing a job at left back? I don't think so. I'll trust Supian to fill in anywhere across that back line if we need him to because he's versatile. Yeah, point there. That's a good point. Versatility, six points. It's seven, six to Emma. Emma, what do you got? But we don't need him to play at left back. We have I just made a scenario in which it could happen. You made a ridiculous scenario. How is that a ridiculous you scenario? Made a ridiculous that scenario, scenario could happen. I really? watched football. That, that, scenario... that could happen. Do you think Poch would let that kind of scenario it, happen? It's not about letting it. It could happen. He could make okay. all his substitutions okay. and someone could get injured Calm down, and he might everyone. need to do a job. Calm Kevin Vimmer can't do that Calm job. Calm down. It's getting very competitive. Very I'm just angry saying. Here. That is a point for Craig Mitch because for Emma to suggest that that scenario couldn't happen is, you know, to me beyond belief. Of course it could happen. You could get an injury, get two injuries. His versatility does count well. So it's seven points each. It's almost as if it's made to get to seven all, and <laughs> oh, and the next point wins. I don't even know. Uh, how we actually, don't we don't even yeah. do it like tennis. It's the next point. We've wins. talked That's about social point. media banners and all of this stuff on her side, and I've come with cold hard facts. Right. What is this? Craig Mitch, you can go first. I'm going to let you both talk, and then I will give a point for the person I believe. Since we're being slightly left field, <laughs> was that an impression? Yeah, since we're going to be slightly left field, it was field. an impression. Since of a we're going to be slightly left field, <laughs> That's a Kel Brook impression. That's not me. Super Yan has a chant. Something Kevin Vimmer doesn't have. Super, Super Yan, Super. Super Yan, oh. Super, Super Yan, Super Yan Vertonghen. <laughs> Having a chant makes you a fan <laughs> favourite. Kevin Vimmer does something good on the pitch. What do they do? They just clap. Oh, he's got nothing to sing for him. We don't All know right. what we're going to do. Right. On top of that, he has a celebration when he scores. Has Kevin Vimmer got a celebration? Oh, wait, he hasn't scored. So we don't even know if he All has right. a celebration. Emma Story. Probably just going to tweet Emma about Story, it. Emma Story, you are under the pump here, big time. Well, he's made some good points there. What you got? He made a good point, but you really so chants make you fan favourites. Chants make you the best. No, I didn't say that. I didn't oh. say they make you the best. You I say fan favourites have chants. Craig, this That's is Emma's I point. Emma, I urge you not to ask him questions. Just to I know not. what she's going to say. Out of the world hasn't got a chance. Don't make me penalise you. Don't make me penalise you. Emma, you've got to fight for this I was going to say, you, you know, you want to say that fans' favourites are the only ones that get chance. Who has been probably in contender for our best player of the season? Somebody who has no chance. Toby Alderweireld. So are you trying to suggest to me that Super Yan is better than Toby? Because he has a chart when Toby does Okay, that's a debate okay, in itself. Hold on. That's right. a debate in okay, itself. Okay, guys, that is the end. That is a debate in itself. That is the end of the 8-bit debate. We have a winner. I'm going to go through those points there. I think it's very... Very true that um, Jan Vertonghen does have a chant. That's true. He also has a celebration. Emma brought up the point that Toby Alderweireld doesn't have a chant. He's been our best player. And I agree with that point as well. However, I potentially think that's because Alderweireld is a very difficult name to but rhyme with. I Whereas but, but Vim Toby's Vimmer, not. who's got the keys to Mabima for Kev Vimmer <laughs> is an obvious chant they I should be that. doing. And as a result, They're not doing it. Craig Mitch wins eight That's points what I'm to saying. seven. That's what I'm eight saying. Eight points to seven. My hand. That's it. Emma, in your debut debate, you did very, very oh, well. I'm you. sorry, but uh, for me, Super it's Yan, Super Yan should come back in first <laughs> and Craig made the better points. Guys, let us know what you thought. Was, were, were we correct? Should Super Yan be back in? Let us know in the comments section below. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And also, most importantly, as well as having watched this far, excellent retention, let us know what debates you think we should be doing in next week and the following week's 8-bit debate. We want to do more of these because look, they hate each other. They hate it. <laughs> Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Spurred On, and welcome to this week's episode of Spurvers. I'm here, as usual, with Emma and Craig, and this week we're talking about Spurs running the show for England.